I hope you can enjoy this game with me. It was a game that I found a lot of uh, encouragement, enjoyment in, and uh, we were two fairly well-matched opponents, and we were uh, busy, of course, each trying to uh, wreak havoc on the other one. And it, I think it was a fun game. So let's see what you think about it. Uh, we uh, opened with um, King's Pawns, and then the uh, Gambit shown here, and then I went ahead and put my knight up to protect this pawn, and uh, I, if he didn't take, I, I was considering going here and maybe seeking to go to that pawn. I wasn't sure. But uh, he uh, protected with his knight, which is uh, fantastic. So we have a double pressure going on here. So I went ahead and double protected with my pawn. If he, if he took the pawn, I could take with my queen and uh, get my queen out and get my uh, queen playing. So then he pinned my knight against my king. So I couldn't move my knight no matter what he did. So uh, I, uh, the database suggested advancing the pawn, but instead I went and forked, I mean, penned his knight against his queen. So he couldn't move his knight either without losing his queen. So it, it was a kind of a double, uh, double jeopardy going on there. Then he castled. And so we have a lot of things going on on the board, which I think is fantastic. So I got to kick his bishop away. So go away, leave my knight alone. And let's. And then he took my knight, and then I took with my pawn. And it did something that I enjoy: it's having a corridor open that I can play with, and I, I really enjoy having that uh, that possibility. So. Um, the next thing, is he moved his pawn up to protect this pawn that I was getting ready to take. Well, then that, that opens up if I take and he takes, then he could take my queen. And then I would have to take with my king. Well, actually, I could take with my rook, I suppose. Anyway, it would be a queen exchange, which I really don't like early in the game. I moved my uh, bishop up to kind of protect against that. Also to protect this pawn if he took it, uh, which probably wouldn't have been that good a move because he could have taken my um, my bishop for nothing if I if that had happened. But then he kicked my bishop, so I went ahead and took his knight. And then he took it with his rook, and uh, that was considered a mistake by the database. Don't worry, if the database tells you that something you're doing is a mistake, if it's something that you really wanna do and you think is a great thing to do, don't worry about it, because you may have a plan in mind. And I think that my opponent uh, may have had a plan in mind. I got my knight out of the way, which considered an inaccuracy. Uh, there, there was an opportunity to win a pawn, but if I won that pawn and won that pawn, then we set up the, the queen exchange, which I wasn't ready for. Instead, I wanted to castle. So uh, then he takes, and then it, for the just for a moment, I thought, oh no, he's forked my knight and my bishop. But then I realized that he didn't have his queen over, and this pawn was in the way anyway, or he hadn't got his, you know, his uh, bishop out to protect it. So whatever, it turned out not to be a... Um, not to be a protected fork, because a, a fork that is a problem is a protected fork, and that's not what he did. All right, so then I uh, just go ahead and take his pawn with my bishop. That's great. And then he moves to, uh, f you know, pin my knight against my queen. Man, I often go ahead and put my pieces up to protect that square. I don't like pieces coming and causing me trouble at that square, but I didn't do it on this game. All right, so then I go ahead and move up to uh, kick that bishop out of the way. Get out of my way! And so he moves back, which I think is a very strong move. And uh, uh, and that's, you know, uh, what he could do to um, continue to cause trouble for my knight, trouble for my pawn structure, you know, trouble for, for whatever. And, and, that, and, you know, that's what he did. But I went over here to threaten this pawn and then I could get this rook if everything went well depends on what he decided to do all right so he <coughs> takes my pawn I take with my knight so I can get my knight up there in the game and do stuff I love to find ways to um, you know cause trouble with my knight and so he threatens my bishop and there's really nothing I can do exciting with my bishop. I considered I could go there. That wouldn't work. I could go there. That wouldn't work. There I might make the king move somehow. I didn't see how that would work. I could go here. And I didn't like that idea. Uh, you could just I wasn't sure where to go with my bishop. So I just went there. But that left my king exposed, which wasn't very exciting. So he goes to uh, this place here. I'm not sure what he had in mind. 
uh, if he was going to do something else or cause me a checkmate, maybe he was going to line up and use his uh, bishop to cause trouble. Because if I put something here, he would be able to come down with his queen. It would be checkmate. So I kind of had checkmate hanging over my head for a while in this game. All right. So then I went ahead and take this free pawn, which is considered a great move by, by the database. That's great. You know, um, and I, you know, I appreciate that. And uh, I moved this around a little bit here. So I didn't intend to do that. But um, I, uh, I, I'm glad that that was considered a good move because it was something I greatly desired to do. So then, uh, then there's trouble, though. He, he moves his queen down. And I think it's just going to be a real problem anytime soon. I'm going to lose the game. But so I castle because I think fiddlesticks. It's going to be bad really soon because he had his, his rook here and his queen. He had his bishop here. There's all kinds of stuff he could have done to cause me a lot of trouble. And uh, but he uh, moved his knight out of the way. That was good to get his knight into play. And then I take his rook which is what I was after for move after move after move, but just couldn't quite seem to make it happen. And so finally I was able to get his uh, rook and put him in check. He moves his rook out of, over there, which is fine. But then I, I spot, uh, I could take this free pawn. I could take this free pawn. Uh, I wasn't sure exactly what to do. I could have, you know, I, I, I looked at this. I could was able to maybe fork his king and his rook once I got that out of the way. I did see that. It's one of my favorite moves. So I, I move my queen and take this free pawn. And he moves his queen there to absolutely cause me trouble. Good grief. What am I going to do? Because he has threatened my queen. He still has this uh, possible checkmate thing. If he could figure out a way to get his knight down there and, and cause more trouble. I just wasn't sure what was going to happen. And this, so I move my queen over. Maybe he won't realize that I'm threatening his uh, his uh, his knight, because absolutely I'm threatening his knight if he moves his queen somewhere. So he moved his king over, which is a good move. But it gave me the excitement of maybe I mean if I had my knight here, and then I, I took this bishop over here, and he took it with his. Uh, bishop and his queen was out of the way, then I could take my knight there and I could fork his king and his rook. I, I know, those are dreams, 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 but I like to dream that sort of thing if I can get there. So I move my bishop up to cause him to move his queen. And if he hadn't moved his king, then I would have been able to fork his king and his queen. He saw that before I did. So now he moves his queen out of the way, which is fine. But then I realized that if I could get my knight there, I could fork his uh, queen and his uh, uh, rook. I actually had to put it there. If I could put my knight there, I could fork his king and his queen and his rook, which I, man, I sure wanted to do that. But instead, I go ahead and put his queen uh, in, you know, call it in check, whatever, th super threaten the queen. So he had to move. So he moved there, not remembering that I could take his knight. I could also have put my knight here and forked his queen and his rook. And so instead, I, I, I don't think I saw that at the time. I, I don't think that I saw <coughs> that I could uh, fork the, the queen and the rook at the same time. Instead, I took his uh, free knight. It was right there for the taking, so I took it. And uh, then at that point, uh, my worthy opponent resigned. It was a fun game. I think I had a lot of uh, a lot of risks going on, but I had a lot of fun. And I had fun trying to cause trouble on two fronts at once. And I hope you enjoyed this game. Hope it was something that was entertaining and instructive and help you become a better chess player and achieve your goals at chess. You know, what are your goals at chess? What are you trying to accomplish with uh, with your, your day at chess? I mean, you're trying to become a better player, uh, have more focus, more concentration, uh, more fun improve your ELO, whatever it is, I would love to know what motivates you to play chess. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And thank you for watching this. Uh, there's no way I could have this channel without you being involved in it. Thank you for making it a success. That's so exciting. Have a fantastic day, and I'll check you later.